Our Lady of Laos. Pray with me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, illuminate everything I think, say, and do, so that everything is for the glory of God. Amen. Comforted by those who love me. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Luke 23, 27-28 Crucified by my words and deeds. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Luke 23, 34 Holding on to Jesus in my life. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23, 43 Our Lady of Laos a parishion to a 17-year-old shepherdess named Benoit Recurrel in saint étienne le laos France, in May 1664. Benoit saw a beautiful lady holding a child in her arms and standing on a rock in the valley of Laos, where Benoit was guarding her neighbor's flocks and praying the rosary. Benoit made the beautiful lady smile after offering to share the hard bread she had to eat that was softened in the nearby fountain. Benoit's desire to hold the little child made the lady smile again, but the lady left without saying a word. Over the next four months, the beautiful lady, whose name Benoit did not know, returned daily to instruct her on her mission. Benoit told her neighbor about the lady and the neighbor did not believe her. Following Benoit to the valley one day, the neighbor heard the lady, although she did not see her, warned Benoit that her neighbor was in spiritual danger. She had something on her conscience and needed to confess her sins and do penance because she took the name of our Lord in vain. Benoit's neighbor took this message to heart and did penance for the rest of her life. Benoit finally asked the lady who she was. My name is Mary, she replied. Mary called on Benoit to pray for sinners and for their conversion. She asked Benoit to meet her at a chapel in Laos, which was to be used as a shrine. Benoit knew suffering and misunderstanding. After all, she was a simple person instructing priests on how to welcome penitents with kindness and charity in the sacrament of penance to encourage them to confess their sins and repent. Benoit also urged young girls and older women to be modest, sometimes correcting their dress or behavior. Benoit became a third order Dominican and received visions of Jesus in his passion from 1669 to 1679. Among these five visions, Jesus told her once, My daughter, I show myself in the state so that you can participate in my passion. Benoit mystically participated in the sufferings of Christ for 15 years, enduring great pain. On Christmas Day 1718, she received Holy Communion. On the Feast of the Holy Innocence, she went to confession, received extreme unction, and died. In 2008, Bishop Jean-Michel de Falco Leandri, the Bishop of Gap in the French Alps, celebrated a special Mass to announce the Vatican's approval of Marian apparitions in that diocese that occurred between 1664 and 1718. He has also supported the cause of Benoit canonization. 
Thank you, Father, for everything. God is Father. God is good. Good is everything He does. We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. Mother, intercede for the physical, mental, and spiritual health of the sick and for those who take care of them. Jesus, I trust in you.